I'd like to add to what the, the lady just spoke to. I, I've had the privilege of going and participating in the uh, um, Swanee River Water Management meeting back in March, when it was, and I hear the presentation from Valdosta. And then the task force, which has been useful in information, uh, I was at the one that they had um, in Valdosta, where Valdosta did a really good job of explaining the issue. Okay. And um, I'm a 30-year Army guy, and I fight battles I can win. And I walked away from that meeting that it's not going to get fixed. I mean, you'd have to have hundreds of millions of dollars. If you just did the math on what it's cost to do their lines, it's hundreds of millions of dollars to fix it. Okay, so we can get EPA in there, and they can beat them up unless you want everyone's sewer bill to be $500 a month in Valdosta. I think maybe they could fix it. But the bottom line is the dollars are, are astronomical. You know, I'm not an advocate of Valdosta. You know, I'm helping pay the little sales tax that this passed. And what they did is that sales tax is actually helping to pay for improvements in their sewer system. So Valdosta in itself, the people are interested. Because when they pass the penny sales tax to help with infrastructure, I take that as a, they're willing to recognize the issue because it's polluting their wells. It's polluting their, their systems. Okay, they understand that. Uh, I don't think they do a real good job protecting their residents, but the reality of it is that they're, they're willing to help pay for that. So with that being said, um, what you just mentioned is that the communications and getting information out about, hey, listen, we've had a spill, uh, the river is not of this. You know, I've, I've gone everywhere trying to find information. I can't find it. But here's the issue for me. Once I was, we moved here four years ago, got a phone call from the health department, hey, you got a coli in your well. Do you have small children? Yeah. Okay. And because I was a foster parent and adopted a couple. Okay. I'm old, but I got young kids. But the bottom line is, is they said, hey, listen, uh, you shouldn't expose them to that. Well, that was great environmental health. I mean, environmental, you know, health. Tell me to, you know, put a little chlorine in there. Well, that ain't going to fix the problem. Okay. It'll probably fix the problem for a month. So I go spend $4,500 and I, and I fix the problem. I got a whole house system. Okay. Because I have the money to do that. Okay. I have the intelligence to do that. So, and this is what this young lady is saying is that there's my, the people on my community are poor. Okay. I mean, I, I took the, the bottles to them and said, let's test your well. And some of them said, well, I really don't care. But, you know, because they just don't have the education. You don't understand the threat that's behind. We've had people with E. coli, get E. coli in their systems and have to be hospitalized on mine in, on 143 Southwest. Okay. It's, it's real. It's happening out there. And this was actually a young man. Okay. It wasn't, it wasn't an elderly person or someone in my age group coming at it. So, you know, what interested me is that um, I, I went at it from a different angle. So I, I got a hold of the Department of Environmental Protection and said, I, want, I really want you guys to diagnose my will. And the, it, what happens is if you have a man-made pollutant, you have false faith. Okay, you've got other contaminants that man makes because uh, feces is not considered man-made. And that, that's really mind-boggling to me. Okay, I, I thought it was, so, so I, I don't know what you call that. They will come in and give you a water system. Environmental health will do that for you. Okay, they come in, they'll give you water, they'll give you a system. But because, it, because now we're dealing with something that's biological, something that can, that's going to kill me in 25 years. Okay, the phosphates, mercury, the lead, yeah, it's going to get me. But it's going to take a while. But if they got E. coli, I'll be dead in two weeks. And that could do nothing. You don't fund it. It all boils down to money. I've given up on Valdosta. The, it is, I don't care what you guys talk about, you can get all you want to do, nothing's going to happen. Those people are doing everything they can do. They live in a swamp, okay, and it's just going to continue. It, it's just not going to get fixed unless you want to go find a few billion dollars right away to fix the issue, and it ain't going to happen because there's so many issues in our country that we're all trying to solve. So how can we do that? How can this? So now I want to go to the state of Florida, okay? You, you guys can do civil actions. You can go get... The, you know, uh, the feds to go look at something. And yes, it's, it's going to you know, put some citation, they can find them a little bit. Great. Okay. But the bottom line is, it took them nine months to get a permit approved. Okay. For 6.58 million, it keeps changing. I don't know how many gallons it's going to be. That is going to help. There is absolutely, I mean, when we get a three inch rain, Valdosta will have a spill. Now it's probably going to inch up to more like a five inch rain. Okay, because now they got something they can put it into. I begged Valdosta. So you got some state land between us and Florida. Dig retention ponds. 
I said, we got guys who are coming in and digging if you give us equipment. I said, that, that'll cost a few hundred thousand dollars. It's chump change. Okay? I said, we can dig pond. Well, we'll look at it. They haven't done that. Just that way, at least you can keep your stuff in the state of Georgia. That's all I'm asking. That didn't occur. But at least they have done a lot of stuff in Valdosta, recognizing they've got a problem. They're here. I'm sure the attorney told them not to come to this meeting. If I was representing them, I'd say, don't go. Okay, because just in case these clowns do put a civil action against me, I don't want them to use words I put in this meeting against them. So it makes sense to me. So let's get back to Florida. We need help with systems. If I remember, sir, you, you, and I went to Tallahassee, you tried to get us water testing. You couldn't even get that passed. I mean, it's ridiculous. Florida ain't doing nothing. So at least our county stepped up to the plate and appropriated funds so that we could get our water tested. The county, and Madison and, and, Val, and uh, Hamilton are poor counties, okay, but at least they saw the need. We need to at least let the people get a perspective that they have contaminated well. I was told by Hamilton, whether I'm getting this wrong, all wells are contaminated that have been tested. We have several wells that have tested for E. coli in Hamilton, so we're a lot worse than Madison. Okay, I was told all wells have been contaminated today in Hamilton County. That's what I was told. Whether that's true or not, I heard that from the representative, my representative in Hamilton County. Okay, so the point here is that we've tested our wells. We, we know that we have issues, and so and you know some bacteria are just going to be with us all the time. I understand that. Okay, but I'm asking to red flag a well when a, when you get an E. coli test, help us, get us the funding. It all falls down to money, guys. It's a money issue. Okay, we're not going to fix Georgia. We're not. Okay. Yeah, it's good. But you got my point, right? Yes, sir. Help us, help us with the E. coli with systems. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, Chris? Yeah.